I don't know what that blessing is. I don't know what it ought to be. But I'm praying intensely for their blessing because the compassion in my heart is just doing that. I'm not doing it. It's just doing me, all right? And so there's all these prayers going forth. Um, if you take just 10 seconds here and look at the abuse that they've heaped upon mankind, and if you're in your heart, now look at this from heart, not head, um, you don't want them to have to undergo the fullness of the karma for that. I mean, it's horrendous. It's absolutely horrendous. It's been devastating to mankind to be locked down in this frequency grid and control and uh, treated so callously and all that. It's terrible. And I wouldn't wish that on any being, not even the ones who've been dishing it out. That doesn't do any good. I mean, that just gets the the boomerang thing going, you know? That just brings it right back to you. And so uh, the heart prays, not that they get out scot-free. I mean, it's not that either. It's none of that, none of that stuff. That's 3D stuff. Come on into heart now. Come on into heart. Uh, listen to pure love flowing through here. Ride that wave. Get out of all resentment and anger and hurt, pain, all of that stuff. Just get into love, get into heart. All right, so the desire has been for the blessing of all life, but lately it's been a lot of prayers very specifically for the dark ones. Okay, this morning, like I said, it was exclusively prayers for the dark ones, but it was funny, too. You know that paradox thing? As these prayers were flowing through for the blessing, whatever it took to convert these guys to light, to help them see, even if just for a flash, just for a moment, that they have a heart, that they, too, are beings of light, they've just gone the wrong way, whatever it takes, you know, whatever the mercy of God would hold in store to help convert such ones. I was praying for that. And then it came to me, oh my God, that in praying for the dark ones this way, the net result was to be praying for the good guys, the little guys, the you and me guys. Because what could be better than having our oppressors suddenly join with the light? Now, they wouldn't stay with us here. They would be taken uh, by the light beings for schooling and, and, and con whatever, you know. It's, it's not like they're going to show up here and all of a sudden be good guys. You know, that's, again, 3D, that's linear. So get totally out of that and leave that in prime creator's hands. You know, I mean, Source knows what she's doing. Okay, and her vision extends a good bit farther than yours and mine. I don't care how far you can see. You can't top that. And so that's why sometimes the best prayer is to say, look, I want a blessing here to this specific, you know, area, but I don't know what the best blessing is. And so here's my desire, you know, and in this case, my desire is that they be awakened to light, that they be awakened converted to the light, that they go into the light. And um, I just thought it was mighty funny to realize that by having the oppressors gone, that would be the biggest blessing that we could have. And so in praying for the bad guys, I was also praying for the good guys in, in very practical ways, and, and I thought that was kind of funny. But now, I've, I've made these kind of prayers before off and on, I'm cautious and I hesitate. Like I've said several times, I'm, I'm not inviting them into my world at all. But uh, off and on, I've made these kind of prayers. This morning, I, now I, I don't have the vision to confirm this, but this morning, my sensing tells me 
that a few of them actually went into the light on my calls. And that feels really good. Now you follow your intuition. I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm at the edges of, of my perception there. And I, I generally don't like to share that kind of thing. You know, I, I like to stay more solid and grounded. But, I mean, that's the biggest blessing when they go into light. And what that does, too, is that reduces the net, is it quotient? No, the net total of um, weight, oppression, and darkness. Now, take it a step further. This is fun. And this was part of my, you know... Part of it is active prayer, but it's it's meditation, it's pondering, and it's interaction with light. I still don't know or see, you know, uh, what's on the other side. I just know that there's a flow in my heart and that guidance comes from there and understanding and different things, okay, and communication. And so what I saw then was that, okay, let's say... Um, there's some dark beings that have been, they've got karma with me. They've been bugging me. They've been messing with me. And, and they're, they're hanging out thinking what a weirdo I am, you know, as I'm making these prayers for them, right? Keep in mind, they cannot see the full extent of the light because you have to be, light, be it to see it. But anyway, uh, they're not morons and they're not insensitive. And so they know they're being prayed for, right? And so, in my prayers, I'm not trying to do this myself. I call in beings of light to come for the blessing and, and to the ones that are best, whether it's the wise ones of the individual races to come and guide these ones or what. And I often call for the Andromedans. They're great peacemakers. They really are. And uh, they're good defenders, too, if, if you've got some kind of uh, energetic being, whether it's an ET or an ED or whatever, you can call on the beings of light from Andromeda for uh, support and defense. And maybe to take that one away, you know, and to intercede between you so that peace can reign. They're, they're good ambassadors of peace, the Andromedans are. Very, very good. And so... It felt like the Andromedans came and uh, perhaps took these away. Puppy just came up on the bed and stepped on the base of the little light here. All right, so now what do you think would be a part of their program, their conversion, if they're moving into light? It would have to move slowly because to expose them to too much light at once, it brings up too much darkness, you know? and it hurts, and, and you, you lose it. You lose your balance. And so the Andromedans would be very uh, sensitive and, and aware and all that. Um, we are, too, on the higher dimensions, guys. It's just that we don't have access to all of that, and these higher beings do. So, all right, so if, if you're a bad guy and you've decided, okay, I'm going into the light now, you know, I don't want to have to face my upline and tell them yet again, you know, I screwed up and somebody slipped through my grasp. So I think I'll dodge out now. Bye, guys. And so he's got an Andromedan escort and he goes into the light. And there's programs for this. I mean, there's no vengeance. There's no judgment. There's none of that kind of stuff. There's all kinds of things set up that are as merciful as you can imagine. People, uh, beings have to face their stuff. But we do, too, and it's not all given to us at once. Now, that would be cruel, wouldn't it? Okay, so as those ones, then, are in training now on the side of the light, they've got loads of karma, and what is the best thing that they can do to make amends? Hello! Wouldn't they be the best ones to undo what they've done? Wouldn't that be a part of their program, of their training? And wouldn't that be the most direct blessing that could come to the earth, to us? So anyhow, this is a really other side of the coin type meditation and uh, prayers that went down this morning. 
but I guess there's something in me that wanted to share them with you um, and I'll be interested in what you have to say. Bye-bye. Mankind, and if you're in your heart, now look at this from heart, not head, um, you don't want them to have to undergo the fullness of the grid and control and uh, treated so callously and all that. It's terrible. And I wouldn't wish that on any being, not even the ones who've been dishing it out. That doesn't do any good. The karma for that. I mean, it's horrendous. It's absolutely horrendous. It's been devastating to mankind to be locked down in this frequency. I don't know what that blessing is. I don't know what it ought to be. But I'm praying intensely for their blessing because the compassion in my heart is just doing that. I'm not doing it. It's just doing me. All right? And so there's all these prayers going forth. Um, if you take just 10 seconds here and look at the abuse that they've heaped upon 